Okay, audio sounds good. Okay, audio is good. Okay. So, hello everybody, Victorian Genetics, and they give gave us the Shen update, which they've been talking about, and so I know already it's a gangplank level thing, but they also have patch 6.1, and I'm also making videos out of that now, so figured I'll do it all right now. Shen is like one of my favorite champions, so I'm really hesitant about this, but if it's gangplank level, Shen's gonna retain Shen, so that's the hope anyway. Shen's a bit of an odd duck, he's a ninja who likes to be punched in the face, spoilers, that's not changing, and while bits of his kit are super unique and impactful, he also sports two painfully generic abilities. He's been suffering from a pretty severe case of old school -itis. <laughs> Such a funny name, but it's true. Basically, making him a prime candidate for some champion update, tender loving care. So we've given him some. Alongside brushing up the big guy's model so it's closer to his awesome splash, we've, all, we've also spent a bunch of time updating some of his abilities. Now Shen's power manifests as a keyblade he controls with his abilities, for example. Here's his new kit. Key Barrier. Pretty, yeah, it was Key Strike before. After casting an ability, Shen gains a temporary shield. The shield has a relatively long cooldown, which is significantly reduced if one of his abilities affects an allied or enemy champion. What the fuck? Wait, did he gain a barrier off of that, right? Okay, I see the little shield. It's really hard to see it on there. I hope this is all... Okay, yeah, it's all streaming, right? Q, his Q is Twilight's Assault. Shen calls his Spirit Blade, empowering his next three basic attacks to deal damage based on a portion of the target's max health. If his Spirit Blade collides with an enemy champion on its way to him, Shen deals increased damage and gains greatly increased attack speed. All enemies struck by the returning blade Briefly suffer reduced movement speed when moving away from Shen. What the fuck? So that's his blade. Wait, calls his spirit blade. Holy shit, that's freaking epic and his model's amazing now. How does the spirit blade work though? Because it doesn't seem to say... I don't know what the Spirit Blade is exactly. Shen's Spirit Blade creates a protective barrier that allows Shen and his nearby allies to dodge all basic attacks for a few seconds. Holy crap. The ability triggers when there are allied champions in the zone. If there are no allies in the zone, it waits to start until one gets close enough. So it doesn't start unless an ally... An ally has to be in it for it to make you dodge Shen. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Fuck you, ADCs. Or marksmen, or whatever. Shadow Dash. Shen recovers a flat portion of energy whenever he deals damage with Twilight Assault or Shadow Dash. Shen dashes in a target direction, dealing damage to all enemies' champions in his path and taunting them briefly. They, they, kept, they kept his taunt. Which is amazing because that's like my favorite fucking thing of that's like that's that's Shen. When you see Shen you think taunt. It looks a little bit nicer too, it looks like. Yeah, it does. It kinda flows a bit better. It's not like really abrupt, which is gonna feel weird, but and that's not like it's gonna feel weird in a play way, it's gonna feel weird in a like because right now whenever you shen taunt and you hit somebody, like there's like this impact feel. But watching that, I, I don't feel like it's an impact feel. It's like a really smooth motion, you know. I didn't hear sounds like Kish, you're taunted. That's currently what it does. It's like it's really impactful whenever you taunt somebody. And Stand United still there, that's good. Shen channels a teleport. Shen channels as he prepares a teleport to an ally champion anywhere on the map. As he channels, he tar grants his target a shield, and once he arrives, he brings his spirit blade with him. How does the spirit blade 
work though. Shen calls a spirit blade, empowering his next three base. It doesn't say anything about how his spirit blade works. At least I don't see anything. Does it, is it just a... It doesn't sound like you command the spirit blade around at all. Based on a portion of his text, my huh? Collides with an enemy champion. I mean, I guess that calls it to you, but... It seems weird. I'd have to play him, which I will play him, and there will be gameplay videos up on my channel. First things first, Shen Stang's largely faithful to his original design. He's still a, a tanky, energy-based champion, and his E and R are pretty much identical. You'll still be able to pull off your last-second ults to save a teammate from death, and still surprise your enemies from those fancy pants taunts, taunts, flash, taunt moves. What? Taunt, flash, taunt moves. Okay. Or, you know, accidentally flash, taunt, absolutely nothing. <laughs> Spill drink over keyboard if we're being real. <laughs> then there are Shen's other abilities. We wanted... We wanted to put into effect a pretty fundamental change to his combat pattern by giving Shen and his opponents more things to do and think about during each game. His old Q had some neat interactions with other champions, but ultimately it was basically a point-and-click damage ability with some bells and whistles attached. Faint, his old W, had aged even worse and was basically a pretty bland shield. It was... It felt like basically the worst shield in the game. Like, straight up, all honesty, it felt like the worst shield in the game. Because practically no one built AP on Shen. Exactly. <laughs> that just interfered with his otherwise precious energy pool. We quickly identified both abilities as prime candidates for the champion update team's effort. Basically, we're fine with Shen engaging in, ex in extended one-on-one -on -one duels, but we want those fights to be a bunch more engaging and skill-based than they were. Makes sense. So, how are his new abilities different? Well, his Q, Twilight Assault, completely changes how, when, how and when Shen wants to fight. He's purely melee now, obviously, so he can't bully or last hit from range. Instead, he's all about positioning, maneuvering around his opponent, so his Q cast pulls the Spirit Blade through his enemy. Oh, that's a period. <laughs> pulls his Spirit Blade through his enemy. His opponents want that not to happen, obviously, resulting in the two tangoing around this lane, their lane, for positional advantage. Shen can force the issue by shadow dancing in, taunting, landing the taunt, then pulling the spirit blade through. This gives him pretty big boost to his damage and opens up spirit's refuge to parry his opponent's reply. His new W has serious implications in team fights too, giving his entire team the means to dodge incoming basic attacks. Again, this all requires position, posi positional smarts and the ability abilities cooldown means he'll only really get one shot if it uh, with it per late game team fight. It's a strong ability basically, but only when it's used properly. Finally, Shen's new passive. Sh she new passive shield is a key part of the big man's repertoire, particularly come late game. Past level 16, his shield literally has no cooldown when he lands his abilities on other champions, meaning smart and dexterous Shen players get to morph into mighty unkillable super tanks. I feel like that's a Power Rangers reference, because he looks kind of like a Power Ranger type deal. This is the sh skin I have, so... That's about it for Shen changes. We're kicking out a couple of his old abilities and replacing them with more interesting tools that should give him clearer goals during each game. At the same time, we're brushing up his visuals, refitting him with a new model, and better particle effects across the board. So jump onto the PBE and let us know your thoughts on Shen's new kit. We'll shadow dash back in a couple of weeks for the big guy's release. I... I like it. I really do. I like it, but it sounds really odd. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see how it all pans out. It looks interesting. It's just I'm really 
skeptical of how the spirit blade and how that it's going to take a while to learn how to properly because it sounds like it just follows you or something or maybe swirls around i don't know they, they don't they don't show exactly how it works it looks like it's just a thing that floats and then you snap it to you that's what it sounds like i like it though i like updates they're good Shen felt old and dated, and now he looks like he's not going to be so old and dated, so that's a good thing. I really like champion updates as a whole, but this one feels less cool than Gangplank reading it. Gangplank's update made me want to play Gangplank. Poppy's update made me want to play Poppy. Sion's update made me want to play Poppy. Shen, I already wanted to play Shen, and I'm already maining Shen. This update doesn't really up how much I want to play him exactly, so... But that's probably because I already play him quite a bit. So, I can't exactly say for certain what exactly that is, you know? I can't scale it completely. It's obviously a gangplank level rework, but... Anyway, this has been... This is Victorian Genetics, and if you like what you see, like, obviously, because you liked it, comment because I discuss all this stuff with everybody and anybody who wants to discuss anything. And subscribe for more, because there is more. So I will see you all next time. And that ended at 12 minutes. Okay.